Satan's World System, Tactical Doctrine Satan's world system is an administrative philosophy designed to secure and increase his control over humankind for the purpose of opposing God's plan to replace him and his followers. The working out of God's plan in time and the devil's counter-strategy will form the subject of part five of the current series. In this section, we will be concerned with the specifics of Satan's worldview for mankind, an all-encompassing system of lies, carefully crafted for maximum seductive effect, a mesh of doctrines, teachings and ideas that the devil has employed since the expulsion from Eden and designed to delude and enslave humanity. We have termed this system Satan's world system in order to better correlate the idea with the Greek word cosmos, that is, world, the term that most frequently references in the Bible the devil's system of anti-truth. As Christians, we are to have as our focus in this life the Word of God, both the living Word, Jesus Christ, John 1, 1 through 5, and the written Word, the Bible, 2 Peter 1, 19 through 21. Truth, therefore, is at the very center of our earthly lives, Psalm 119, and we walk according to what our God tells us is true, not by what our eyes see, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for everything in this life is passing away, but God's word is forever. Isaiah 46 through 8. Satan's world system is predicated on the principle of opposing this basic tenet of all orthodox, Christ centered thought. For it is the primary objective of the devil system to reverse this perspective, to turn humanity's focus completely around and fix it firmly instead on this earthly life. For Satan, Every human being who looks away from God and towards this world instead is a triumph. Just as for God, every person who turns his gaze away from the devil's dark world and to Jesus Christ is a victory. I am sending you to them, to open their eyes that they might turn away from darkness and toward the light, even from the power of Satan unto God, that they might receive forgiveness of their sins and a share among those who have been sanctified by faith in me. Acts 26, 18 Stay sober, stay awake. Your adversary the devil roams about like a roaring lion searching for someone to devour. 1 Peter 5, 8 As he proved in his cunning seduction of so many of his fellow angels, Satan has a tremendous grasp of how best to prey upon his fellow creatures. He understands his subjects, angelic and human alike, and does not shrink from boldly exploiting any and all weaknesses. A common theme in his approach is his focus upon whatever it is that one of his intended victims lacks. The angels lacked physical bodies, so he promised these to them. The fact that engineered, possessed bodies would never have amounted to the real thing doesn't concern the devil, only that the lie he is selling be believable. Adam and Eve lacked detailed knowledge of good and evil, so he tempted them to acquire it, no matter that it meant their ultimate physical death. Following the fall, human beings are, in many respects, much easier targets for Satan. Instead of a narrow window in which to attack, where the temptation is in no way connected with necessity, that is, physical bodies for angels, knowledge of good and evil for perfect humans in paradise, Human beings outside of the Garden of Eden face a wide range of potential shortages and needs as a result of our now universal mortality and the curse God has placed upon the ground. Add to this the fact that the devil has a natural ally on the inside of each and every one of us, that is, the sin nature, and it is not difficult to see how Satan's system of false promises and lies has been able to make so many converts throughout the course of human history. The vast majority, in fact, of all human beings who have ever lived. Yet God has never left himself without a witness. All have had a choice. In every generation, there have been those who have heard the small, still voice of truth and have turned away from the devil's system unto God. 1 Kings 19.12 and Acts 14.17 Even for believers, however, Temptation emanating from the devil system continues to be an issue throughout life for obvious reasons. 1. Pressure from the sin nature. Salvation brings forgiveness for sin, but does not eradicate the sin nature resident in our corrupt flesh, which will continue to remain a source of spiritual vulnerability for us throughout this earthly life. 
Genesis 8, 21 and James 1, 13 through 15. 2. Pressure from the now corrupt world. Our physical mortality, the ultimate result of our internal corruption, coupled with the inherent nature of the world outside of Eden, prone to shortages and requiring hard labor to provide sustenance as a result of God's curse, in sharp contrast to the garden. Genesis 3. 17 through 19 are urgent vulnerabilities which keep up a constant physical and psychological pressure. Just on the basis of these two primary factors that largely drive human behavior in this life, much of the depraved and godless conduct that is human history would no doubt have come about even without the devil's help. But, inasmuch as it is in his interest to oppose divine influence in his realm, Satan has developed a tactical scheme and philosophy for administering this world calculated to maximize the blinding of mankind so as to 1. Lead us away from truth, away from God, and 2. Lead us to do His will instead of God's. While the present section will be concerned with the devil's system per se, the following part of this series, section 5, will deal with the implementation of that system. The devil's main tactical aim is to increase his influence and control over humanity, individually and collectively, and he mercilessly exploits any opportunity, any weakness to do so. The essence of his approach, the premier weapon aimed at the battleground of the human heart, the mind-spirit interface, is the lie. Satan is the deceiver of the whole world, Revelation 20, 1 through 3, and the father of lies, John 8:44. These titles are suggestive of his central tactical objective, to obscure the truth in any and every way. Satan's world system, however, is no mere disinformation campaign. The devil is, and always has been, out to win the hearts and minds of all human beings. He is very well aware that we can be influenced, pressured, and tempted physically and emotionally as well. Much of his system is directed toward the body with the purpose of affecting the heart thereby. The satanic world system is thus a network of interconnected lies, emotional appeals and physical pressures which, at their most effective, are difficult to disentangle. Satan's world system is the lie writ large, extending like a spider's web into every corner of the globe, into every area of human activity, and thus making its way into every single human heart, as far as the devil can bring that to pass, blocking, denying, opposing God's truth, however, wherever and whenever it can. It is important to note at the outset that the satanic world system encompasses not only behaviors that anyone and, indeed, almost everyone would view as satanic and areas that are generally acknowledged as sinful, but also very many areas that are normally deemed good. Tactically, the devil has no scruples. He will encourage any and all behavior, what men may see as good or what they may see as bad, in order to block God's truth and thus increase his own influence in the world. 